Well, I'm excited to bring you the new 3D V dozer blade. This was built to solve the problems using dozer blades with laser or 3D GPS. The problems with the dozer blades are that a skid steer is so bouncy, you cannot keep the bounce, you cannot correct for the bounce. If you notice here, this thing's not bouncing at all. You saw back there it was chugging through the ground real hard. But as you watch this, if you are a dozer operator or your laser grader, you'll understand exactly what's going on here. You'll see all the dozer blades out there are gigantic. They're four to five foot out in front of the machine, which makes it more of a teeter-totter. They've got rolly wheels out front, boxes to help stabilize. They've got rollers under them. They've got skid plates they slide on. And there's these massive, hardly usable, uh, gigantic blades that are just like big road grader attachments. Well, the whole reason is that a blade uh, when straight, if you notice this one's bent, it adjusts the shape of it for the hardness of the ground. When you V the blade in a little bit, you can see the V there, that causes it to be wider to the ground, the purpose. So um, if you took a razor blade across a piece of cheese and you put it at a little bit of an angle, you know, 5%, 10%, like a dozer blade cutting edge, you would just gouge into that 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 cheese across top. That's why they put a roller on a cheese cutter uh, to keep it stable. And that's the same thing you do with grade and dirt. It's uh, the food market has most, most of your answers already, believe it or not. So if you take that same razor blade and you V it in, bend it in the middle, kink it or curve it, you solve the problem, it's not straight where it'll gouge and jump. So that's what uh, my patent pending is on this. Uh, put in a few years ago for it. I was finally with the manufacturer getting it all built, but this is the, the first dirt cut I've really done with it. Uh, it's, it's winter time in Indiana and uh, um, just dried out here March, I don't know, about 4th. Anyways, is what you can see here is how stable the blade is. You can see it moving up and down, see the cylinders on the side adjusting for it. It's, it, it totally follows the blade. We're bouncing, we have every problem we can have. We need to firm the blade up the, on the skid steers. They bounce a little bit uh, due to the angle of the cylinders for the roll and dump or uh, in and out of the bucket. But as you watch here, this is set up so that you can run it manually or you can run it and this is, we're only doing automation here. But you can even see it bounce, look how smooth it is. Uh, it's, it's, it's like a human adjusting, but adjusts so fast and it's so stable. There's no counterweights. You'll see the other guys are putting counterweights on the back. They're putting wheels. Or, this, this thing gets in here and you can V it forward or back, which you'll see at the end of the video. And so you can use it as a total dozer blade, but this laser setup on this thing makes it great for cutting pads uh, leveling out arenas roads you can put a tilt on it you can put a 3d model in uh, cut all your all your all your curves and and swales and anything you want um, but there's nothing before that you could take on dirt like this unless it was a long track dozer long track dozers were made basically to stabilize the blade from hopping when it's in the ground, especially for laser and stuff. So you start to see more and more long track dozers. It gave it the stability that that straight blade, it's such a big piece of steel, it could, it could hold it all together. So this just solved all of it. And I, I learned it on an excavator. I built, I dig best for excavators. And I bent a dozer blade one time between two trees trying to get it to grade and once I bent it, I thought, oh, I ruined it. I set it down and pulled it in a grade perfect. Because the curve in the blade right there doesn't let it gouge. So now if we're doing sand, which you'll start seeing videos of that or gravel, I mean, you just see it hopping everything there. Um, now, now I'm letting it grade on its way back too. You can see it. Um, it solves all that hopping uh, and all that just because it's more stable. So like I said, sand, 
uh, or, or gravel or stone you can V the blade in a little farther whatever you V the blade it dampens it more and more the more you bring it in don't need sides on it because the V pushes it to the middle all the time uh, this is our prototype uh, the one we're building right now is a single hinge in the middle uh, kind of like what the uh, uh, the snow plows do uh, but super duty this is this is serious amount of steel in this thing I mean you can you'll just you'll just break the skid steer before you hurt this thing anyways the uh, uh, ability here to grade under movement so is all I do is I back up and I can leave it down and grade back and forth with the laser I can pick it up in the air. When I pick it in there, it gets out of the out of the laser range or GPS range. And then when I set it back down, it goes back to grading again. You can just see it cut and perming. That's this is the hardest DM clay. This is the worst or best example for a dozer grading across the ground. So you can put anybody in this thing and start cutting pads, cutting swales, cutting anything you want planes on, cutting roads, anything on steep banks, anything you want with the, with the skid steer. Pavers, patios, uh, yards to drain, just uh, parking lots, horse arenas. This is the foolproof way to use a laser and just cut, cut, cut. Um, we're, we're, we're manufacturing right now. We're getting ready to take pre-orders. Um, and here's how it goes. I mean, you can see it cutting, pulling, biting that's all that more that that machine can cut i mean it's look at it just peel that grass it absolutely works like a champ so visit us at i dig best or call phil at 317-210-0220 have a great week